Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. Um, we're gonna focus today on some basic and intermediate um, functions of vectors. And so this video is gonna be nothing but vectors. So when a call is placed uh, to a vector, it actually goes to what's called a VDN, a vector directory number. And that VDN would be either an extension that your trunk group points to, or it's a DID that you assign that you've gotten from your carrier. So um, once it goes to the VDN, it can then point to a vector. Now a VDN can only point to a single vector, but you can have multiple VDNs pointing to a same to the same vector. So you can have multiple phone numbers pointing to the same vector. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But like I said, it, the 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 one document I always 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 refer to is the um, uh, the Avaya call center, call vectoring, and EAS, or Expert Agent Selection Reference, um, by far the best document for vectoring that you will find, okay? So <laughs> use that one when you're stuck, um, or you can message me on YouTube or, uh, you know, direct message me on Twitter, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have on vectors. So let's get to it. First thing I need to do is uh, I have no VDNs. I also have no vectors, as you can see. And I have no announcements because I didn't save my translations after my last video. <laughs> but I do that on purpose, actually. So we're going to go in here, and I'm going to, I'm going to, the, the scenario we're going to do today, I'm going to create a, a simple auto attendant. Okay. So add, whoops, sorry, change announcement. And I've already assigned five digits and the digits starting with two for my announcements. So the only thing that can have those is announcements, even though that's kind of just a rule I made up because you can't set it to say announcements only. It's an extension. All right, so integrated core 13, because again, core 13 is my lucky number. And we're gonna say, welcome to PBX how to's. That's basically gonna say, thank you for calling PBX how to's. Uh, here are your options, Q, Yes, that's just a habit. Priority, uh, what did I make this? Ah, no, it's okay, that's fine. So here's our 1v9, I'm on an S8300. Oh, I forgot to enable my announcement board. See, that's what I get if I don't. Um, so here's our 1v9. That's what happens when you don't save your translations like the idiot I was today. Integrated core 13, welcome to EVX how to's yes zero zero one v nine but you can see when you have an error like that it's not dumb it's gonna tell you hey you need to go do this or hey this doesn't work because this is happening so be looking for those messages right down here in this little status bar right here that I just highlighted yellow okay so always be looking for that um, we're gonna add another one integrated. 13 <laughs> annoying people because I do that well if you haven't already figured that out uh, 2002 into now here's here's a point I didn't finish but it's saying hey it's an ambiguous entry which means it's expecting other stuff see how there's two options so I say G nope R there it goes just real quick one. Not, here we go, annoying people. Yes, 001v9. In there, those announcements are in there, okay? So, display announcements. 2000, or 20,000, 20,001, 2002. Got it? Good. Uh, let's add a VDN. Add VDN, uh, let's 1313. <coughs> Name, welcome to PBX how to's AA auto attendant and we're gonna say vector 13 because you know I'm putting 13s and everything just get used to that uh, core 13 measured do I want to measure this it's up to you you can if you want and you set your accepted service level again refer the documentation on this because it's pretty detailed but you don't have to measure it which I'm not going to um, it's basically for list measurements, so you can actually see how your how your call center is doing. Because vectors, by the way, are really used for call centers. Hence, the documentation that's about call centers. But you can use vectors for a lot of stuff. Meet me conferencing, 
call centers, auto attendants, messaging, yeah, just a ton of stuff. All right. So, okay, that VDN is added. Raise your hands if you all know what VDN stands for. Trick question. Vector directory number, okay? So now we have that. And I'm going... Now, if I do this, add vector, do you think that's going to work? No. It's just one little quirk that's in the Avaya's. So you have to change because the vectors are already assigned. All right? So if I say help, you can see I have one through 256 available slots to me that are in the system. They're just blank, okay? So change vector 13. So you don't add them, you just, you have to change them. All right, so PBX how twos. Uh, it's a little misleading, the attendant vectoring. I'm not doing this for attendant vectoring. I'm just making a simple auto attendant. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say collect one digit after announcement, 20,000, which is the welcome to. And it's, it be, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, then I'm going to say go to step, uh, let's just say six for now, because you can move these around. If digits equals one, and go to step seven, if digits equals two. Uh, wait time, we'll say, I'll just say four seconds hearing silence, or you can do music, but I highly suggest silence. You know what, we'll bump this down to three. And we'll say go to step one. Whoops, my bad. Step one, if unconditional. And I'll explain what these do, all right? So we're gonna say disconnect. Ah, oh, I forgot to turn that on. See, it's making me a liar. I have to have a tenant vectoring on, but don't worry about that. Um, because I don't think it allows me to, yeah, see, collect. Uh, remember, guys, I'm on my 8300. This is my lab system. I will go over to my 8700, which is still a lab system, but I have everything turned on. But I'm just showing you the basics right now. I'll show you that advanced stuff later. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say announcement uh, 20002 and stop. And then announcement... Two zero zero zero. Hmm. Do I want to do route two? Nah. I'll do it this way. Two zero zero three, and then route two number one thousand. With coverage, yes, because I wanted to go to my voicemail if I don't answer. Uh, and then stop. All right. So let me explain what we're doing here. Collect one digit. So I'm going to play the announcement. It's going to say, "Welcome to PBX How Tos. Please listen to the options. You know, to talk to or." Would you like to talk to an annoying person? Press 1. If you want to talk to a really cool person that's not annoying, press 2. And then it's going to wait 3 seconds, give you silence, and it's going to play that announcement again. It's going to do it over and over until you select an option. All right. You can add some variables in here to say if they've done it 3 times and go hang up on them because they're taking too long to select an option. But again, that's intermediate. I'm showing you basics. All right. So... <clears throat> Once they select an option, let's say they want to talk to an annoying person. And right here, I would usually have disconnect after announcement, but this works too. So you say announcement 2002, and they would say, you really want to talk to annoying people? And go get a life or go be silly or whatever. And then hang up on them. So it would stop. So it would stop processing and hang up the call. If they select option two and they want to talk to a really cool person, which happens to be me, uh, it's going to play the announcement saying, hey, you picked, you want to talk to a cool person. Hang on, I'll send you there now. And then it's going to route the call to my extension, which is 1000. If I don't pick up, it's going to send it to my coverage path and send them to voicemail and then stop. And then it'll stop all the processing for this vector. That is it. Pretty simple. Okay. So the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to do one on intermediate. So we'll kind of enhance this a little bit, and I'll probably move over to my 8700 for that. But, um, uh, guys, I, I appreciate you watching. The, the comments have been great. I, I love making these videos.